Hello and welcome. My name is Samalia Day and I'm going to be taking you through a slow flow. Now all that means is we are going to move a little bit slower. We're going to pause in each pose, really moving with our breath and connecting to our body. So if you just need a little bit of time to check in with yourself, this practice is perfect for you. Um, we're going to begin in a downward facing dog. So taking your time to arrive, um, usually a downward facing dog isn't our first posture. So if you arrive and you feel quite stiff and you really need to move and wiggle, take those movements. Maybe it's pedaling through your heels, wiggling through your hips, shaking out your legs. And as you arrive to your downward facing dog, if it's comfortable, just close down your eyes. Just feeling the sensations of any movement you're bringing into your body. And then beginning to settle in stillness, really spread through your fingers, lift up through your hips and your heels drop down towards your mat. And check in with your breath here. Inviting really deep breaths in. And long clearing breaths out. And if a downward facing dog is a little bit too much, you can drop down to your child's pose. From here, as you inhale, reach and lengthen your right leg to the ceiling. Point, flex through your foot, roll through your ankle, bend your knee and open your hip. Inhale to lengthen. And your exhale just drops it back down, coming to our left hand side. So you're breathing and lift up through your left leg. Point and flex through your foot. Bend your knee, open your hip, really pushing the floor away with your hands here. Inhale to lengthen through your left leg. Exhale, lower down, dropping your knees down towards the mat. Hips melt down to your heels, arriving in your child's pose. Now relax through your elbows. Your forehead drops down to the mat. And inviting softness over the top of your body. Really feel yourself sinking into your mat here. And then slowly begin to roll your head from side to side. Really lightly feeling this massage across your forehead, letting go of any tension running through your eyebrows. And letting go of any tension you're holding onto in your jaw. I'm taking one more deep breath in here. A nice long releasing breath out. As you inhale, rolling back into your downward facing dog. And hopefully you already feel a little bit more open here. As you breathe in, sweep your right leg up towards the sky, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sweep it all the way through into your low lunge. So helping it all the way through if you need. Ankles underneath your knee, hands come down to your fingertips. And just inviting a really soft rock from side to side. And throughout today's practice, if it feels good just to have your eyes closed or your gaze really soft, please come into that space. Just wiggle here. Sinking down into the stretch now, lift up through your chest, planting down through your left hand. Your right hand comes to your right thigh, opening up into a twist, roll your right shoulder down and back, lift up through your chest and now sink through your hips here. Maybe your gaze comes to the back of the room. Breathing in. 
and as you breathe out, dropping your right hand to your mat, lifting up your back knee. Then I do a little step into the center of your mat, lift through your hips and push back into your pyramid pose. So a nice long right leg. We're really trying to open up through the back of our right leg here. You can have a soft bend through your back leg if that feels a little better. And you're either finding your fingertips or the palms come to a block or your mat. Allow your head to be heavy. And I want you to imagine you're breathing into the area that's holding tension and tightness. I quite like to imagine your, my breath melting into my hamstring and my exhale taking away some of that stress and tension, creating space here. Let's take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, making your way back to your high plank, just here for a moment and keeping with the right hand side, you're going to bring your right knee towards your right wrist, coming into your pigeon pose. So your right heel is sort of at your left hip here. And before we melt down, really sink, not sink, stretch up through your body, sink down through your hips. And this might be a deep enough stretch. It might feel really nice for your right glute and hip. But if you'd like a little bit more, you can begin to roll on down onto your belly, your chest, your forehead. It might come down towards the mat or rest on the back of your hands here. And just check that your hips are square, your shoulders are relaxed. And just fall back into your breath. I'm just noticing every inhale and each exhale move through your body. Three more deep breaths here. Noticing if you can let go. Just a little more. And on your next exhale, slowly lift your gaze. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders and step back into your downward facing dog. A gentle pedal of the heels, shaking at your right leg. And then dropping down into your child's pose. This time, maybe finding a little bit more length through your arms. You might crawl your fingertips away. As you breathe in, lift up through your chest, your gaze, walking your hands over to the right and then sinking back down. We're inviting a stretch into the left side of our body, feeling it from your fingertips all the way down your arm, your torso into your hips. And see if you can breathe into the back of your lungs. And slowly lifting your gaze, walking your hands over to the left. Sinking back down. Now inviting this stretch into the right side of our body. I really like side body stretches. After the practice, I, I feel a little longer. And hopefully you do too. And slowly lifting your gaze here, walking back to center and making your way to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep your left leg up, three legged dog, bend your knee and open your hip. Inhale to lengthen, and as you exhale, sweep it all the way through into your low lunge, helping it through if you need, bringing yourself to your fingertips. And inviting a really gentle wiggle from side to side. Getting rid 
rid of all those cobwebs resting in your hips. And then coming into stillness, sinking down, pull your chest forward, breathing in. And as you breathe out, press down through your right hand. Your left hand comes to your left thigh. Roll your shoulder back and down, away from your left ear. And now drop down through your hips, pushing the floor away with your right hand. Have a deep stretch into our hips, especially the front of the right one. One more deep breath in. And as you breathe out, both hands find your mat, lifting up through your back knee, stepping forward into your pyramid. Now, really making sure you can extend and lengthen through your left leg as much as possible. Bend through your right knee if you need. And you'll either find your fingertips or the palms on your floor. So you might look like this. Or you might lengthen through both legs a little higher. So just finding that deep stretch that works for you. One more breath here. And as you breathe out, making your way to a high plank just for a moment, finding that length through your body and then bringing your left knee into your left wrist, finding your pigeon pose. So your left heel sits about where your right hip is. Pull your chest forward, sink down through your hips. Option to stay here or slowly begin to drop down towards your mat. And just know that one side might feel completely different to the other and that's okay. I'm trying to move away from judgment and trying not to force, force a stretch. Just finding what works for you here and really trying to invite softness over your body. Letting go of your shoulders, your hips. Let's take five more deep breaths here. As you exhale, begin to lift your gaze, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, push back, downward facing dog, and a good pedal of your heels here, wiggle of your hips, and then dropping down to your knees, arriving in your tabletop, so your knees are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders. And as you inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, push the floor away. So rolling through your cats and cows, one breath, one movement. And as always, I welcome you to come into some free movements here, finding any wiggles, any pauses that you need, rolls through your spine. Really trying to shake out any stagnant energy here, any tension, really let it go with your breath. And just in your own time, if this is feeling really good, stay here longer, but in your own time, 
making your way back to your downward facing dog and coming to the center of your mat in a rag doll. So walking your feet, your hands together, soft bend through your knees, your hands come to your elbows and just begin to softly sway from side to side. Feeling the stretch travel around your legs. I think it feels absolutely wonderful. The rolling stretch from the outside of your legs, rolling inwards to the inner thigh. Really letting go through your lower back. Let's take three more deep breaths here. Releasing your hands down towards the mat and you're just going to make your way onto your bottom, maybe coming through your malasana, extending your legs out in front, <coughs> pardon me, and then rolling onto your back. And as you arrive, I want you to take a full body stretch. So reach through your arms, your legs, really feeling the length of your body here. Reach, reach, reach. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself a big cuddle here. Maybe inviting a little rock and roll. And then open your arms wide, either finding like a capital T shape, a nice long arms or a cactus arm shape. And then you're going to drop both knees over to the right. And you might need to adjust your hips, wiggle them a little. Your knees might land on a block or a pillow. And as you arrive into your twist, see if you can let go through your lower body. And really allowing this softness to travel into your upper body. Space through your chest, relax through your shoulders. And maybe inviting your gaze to drop over to the left. Slowly, your head comes to center. Your legs follow and they drop over to the left. Arriving in your twist, once again, invite softness to your lower body. Let it travel to your upper body, across your shoulders, down your arms, and allow your gaze to roll to the right. From here, bringing your head to center, allowing your arms to assist your legs, bringing them back into your chest for a moment, and then bringing the soles of your feet to touch your knees open wide. Rest one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And take a deep breath in. And a releasing breath out. Letting go of your body, just feeling it melt into your mat. And here, taking this moment to think of one thing you're grateful for today. And allowing this gratitude just to melt over your body. Really soak it up.
and really keep this gratitude within, sharing it to yourself and others today. And now begin to just fall back into your breath. Feel the sensations and movements of your breath, even though your body is still. And know at any time in the day you can come back to your breath. From here, allowing your arms to drop by your side, bring your knees together and slowly making your way to a comfortable seated position on your mat. As you arrive, closing down your eyes, finding length through the crown of your head, your shoulders drop away from your ears. And just begin to come into some neck rolls. And just breathing naturally here. And begin to make your way to center, lifting up through the crown of your head. Relax through your belly, your hips. And bring the palms of your hands to heart center, your thumbs rest on your chest. And repeating to yourself mentally, I have a peaceful mind, a loving heart, a healthy body and a joyful soul. Sealing your practice today, take a deep breath in and a clearing breath out. Taking a little bow here and just when you're ready, opening up your eyes, you might like to rub your hands together and just place them over the top of your eyes giving yourself a, a little massage with your thumbs if you're feeling quite relaxed and sleepy like myself. Really take as much time as you need here. And I do hope you enjoyed today's practice, moving slowly and connecting your breath. It's, it's really special. So I'll see you here next week. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.